and working on my new Grizzly uh, hybrid table saw. And I've been setting up the blade, and it is a little tricky. It's not as easy as those other videos show. Oh, just loosen, loosen three of these bolts, give it a little bit of a whack of dead blow, and it's perfect. And I'll show you what I had to go through. Alright, so you can see finally, after about an hour and a half of deacon with this, if you look here and get this set up here, look, we're, let's see here, about we're zero there. I'll move this and go over. And if you look, we are pull that tight. We're within oh about three quarters of a degree off, so that is pretty good. Um, what I was doing is I was actually pushing this all the way and keeping it in this level with everything, pushing it in two spots normally. So, but everything's tightened up. And one thing I found is I have these little shims here that go underneath. That one's a little bent. Um, but all of them are flat, just, I don't know how many foul that is, actually, but that is what they put underneath on your trunnions. I'll take a look here, I got that back plate off, and what I ended up having to do is my blade was actually tipped like this, quite a bit, so I ended up adding shims on the far back side here, Removing them from this side, adding them to this side, removing them from this side to get the whole thing to kind of twist like this. Bringing this end up, the back end, the front end down and over. That's how I was able to get that. But you can see all that there. And uh, it's up here. There it is. And one thing I did find out is they say to loosen these bolts here one and a half degree or one and a half turns and then just give it a light tap with your dead blow that does not work very good there's a lot of play in this and one thing I did do is I loosened it up I just grabbed the motor and picked up on it even now you can see it moves just a little bit a little bit of play in there but sitting aisle, it's uh, it's nice and straight. What I did, did though is I loosened up the front and the rear at each time. So I did the front first and lifted up the direction I needed and reached underneath and tightened it down. Now I did the exact same with the rears, loosened those up, tightened them down. A couple more shims here and there, kind of redoing them and I was able to get it, but it was a little time consuming. Uh, but other than that, got that set up. Now I believe it is ready to go on to, uh, make sure you use your, this really helps out your instruction manual that comes with it. Uh, me being, like most guys, I get too excited and they just kind of, oh, I can do this pretty easy. Um, yeah, well, that helps out. I hate to say it, but I like my manhood on that one. Um, but anyways, there's that set up, ready to go. Uh, now it's going to be on to the uh, next thing is putting on the other tabletop, the cast iron extension, and we'll go from there. Uh, see you in the next video.